For centuries, the Star of Bethlehem has been described as a mysterious object in the sky that appeared to guide the Magi and then stop over a specific location. While often treated as symbolic or miraculous, a recent scientific study has reopened the discussion from an astronomical perspective. A NASA planetary scientist suggests that an ancient comet, recorded by Chinese astronomers around 5 BCE, could explain the star's unusual motion and timing. In this video, we will examine the evidence behind this hypothesis, how it was modeled, and what questions still remain. Let's get started. The question at the center of this research is not whether the Star of Bethlehem had religious meaning, but whether any known astronomical object could physically behave the way the biblical account describes. That distinction is important because it shifts the discussion from interpretation to physics. The investigation begins with ancient Chinese astronomical records. Chinese observers were among the most consistent sky watchers of the ancient world, and their chronicles document the appearance of a bright comet in 5 BCE. This timing is significant because many historical estimates place the birth of Jesus somewhere between 6 and 4 BCE, making the comet one of the few known astronomical events that overlaps with this period. For decades, this comet has been mentioned in discussions about the Star of Bethlehem, but it was generally dismissed as an unlikely explanation. The main reason was motion. Celestial objects follow predictable patterns across the sky, rising in the east and setting in the west as Earth rotates. Yet the Gospel of Matthew describes a star that appears to move ahead of the Magi and then stop over Bethlehem, behavior that does not match stars, planets, or ordinary comets. Mark Matney, a planetary scientist working with NASA's Orbital Debris Program Office, approached the problem by asking whether orbital mechanics could create such an effect under extreme but realistic conditions. Because the Chinese records do not provide enough information to reconstruct a single definitive orbit, Matney modeled a wide range of possible trajectories consistent with the historical observations. Within those simulations, he identified a small subset of orbits in which the comet would have passed unusually close to Earth, potentially within the distance of the Moon. Under those conditions, the comet's apparent motion across the sky would behave in a way that feels counterintuitive to everyday experience. If the comet approached Earth from a specific direction and moved eastward at just the right speed, its motion could briefly counter Earth's westward rotation. To observers on the ground, the comet would appear to slow down, pause, or hover in the sky for a limited period. From the region around Jerusalem and Bethlehem, this could create the impression that the object was fixed above a particular location. In this scenario, the comet could also have been exceptionally bright. At such close distance, it may have appeared as bright as the full moon and potentially visible during daylight hours. This detail aligns unexpectedly well with historical travel practices, since people in that era typically avoided long journeys at night due to safety concerns. Crucially, this hypothesis does not claim that this is what happened. It simply demonstrates that the described behavior is physically possible under known laws of motion. The importance of this hypothesis lies in what it addresses that earlier explanations could not. Over the years, astronomers have proposed several candidates for the Star of Bethlehem, including planetary conjunctions, novae, and supernovae. Each explanation accounts for certain elements of the story, but none fully match the reported behavior. Planetary conjunctions, such as alignments involving Jupiter and Saturn, can be visually striking and astrologically significant. However, planets do not appear to guide movement or stop over specific locations. Novae and supernovae can produce sudden brightness, but remain fixed relative to the background stars. The comet hypothesis differs because it directly addresses motion rather than brightness alone. A close approaching comet is one of the few natural objects capable of producing dramatic apparent movement across the sky when viewing geometry and relative motion are taken into account. 
From a scientific perspective, the study highlights how perception shapes observation. Ancient sky watchers relied on naked eye viewing and interpreted celestial behavior visually, not mathematically. Under rare circumstances, natural motion can appear intentional or directional, even though it is governed entirely by physics. The hypothesis also demonstrates the value of combining historical records with modern computational tools. Although the Chinese observations lack precision by modern standards, they still constrain what is physically plausible. The simulations do not force a single conclusion, but explore a range of possibilities consistent with the available evidence. There are, however, clear limitations. The Chinese records do not state that the comet became bright enough to dominate the daytime sky, and there are no surviving Roman or Middle Eastern texts that explicitly describe an object behaving in such an extraordinary way. Additionally, the Gospel of Matthew was written decades after the events it describes, making direct historical correlation difficult. Probability is another challenge. A comet passing within lunar distance of Earth is extremely rare. Critics argue that relying on such a scenario risks tailoring the model too closely to the narrative. However, rarity does not mean impossibility. Every comet has a unique orbit, and rare close encounters are known to occur. A modern example supports this point. In 2014, comet sighting spring passed remarkably close to Mars demonstrating that near-planet comet flybys are real events, not theoretical curiosities. What gives this hypothesis scientific value is its restraint. It does not claim certainty. It simply shows that the described behavior is not physically forbidden. If a comet did pass close to Earth around 5 BCE, the implications extend beyond historical interpretation. Such an encounter would likely have produced physical effects. As Earth moved through the comet's expansive dust cloud, the planet may have experienced intense meteor activity, with fine cometary material entering the atmosphere. In principle, traces of this material could still be preserved today. Ice cores from polar regions sometimes record spikes in extraterrestrial dust alongside evidence of volcanic eruptions and other global events. While no definitive signal tied to a 5 BCE comet has yet been identified, the hypothesis has not been thoroughly tested using modern analytical methods. Beyond physical evidence, the idea also reframes how ancient cultures interpreted the sky. In the ancient world, comets were not classified as scientific objects, but as signs of major change. They were often associated with the rise or fall of rulers, political upheaval, or the beginning of new eras. From that perspective, a prominent comet appearing near the time of Jesus' birth would have carried symbolic weight regardless of its physical explanation. To different observers, it could have represented hope, threat, or transformation, depending on their worldview. This context helps explain why such an event could become embedded in cultural and religious narrative. Whether or not the comet hypothesis is correct, it illustrates how rare natural phenomena can leave lasting impressions on human history. Future progress depends on interdisciplinary work. Historians may uncover overlooked records. Astronomers can refine orbital simulations. Geoscientists may search for subtle physical signatures in Earth's geological archives. Each field contributes a different angle to the same question. Even if no definitive answer is ever found, the process itself is informative. It shows how science approaches ancient mysteries, not by dismissing them, but by testing what nature allows. The Star of Bethlehem remains an open question, but the comet hypothesis shows that the described behavior is physically possible. It does not offer proof only a scientifically grounded explanation that fits key details better than many alternatives. Sometimes looking at ancient stories through modern science doesn't remove the mystery. It simply places it in context.